Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Day Z. If you enjoy this video, please make your New Year's resolution to be the best person you can be. Nah, just kidding, please instead make it to violently threaten anyone who doesn't subscribe to me, as this would really help spread the good word of my channel. Dude, we're all good, we're friendly, man. Yeah, we're friendly. Yeah, nah, what do you need, man? What do you need? Hey, bro, there's, no, dude, dude. Come into the, come into the station, let's, let's get off, let's, let's get off the streets, man. Come into the... I don't like you safety vest wearing cucks. So for those of you who don't know DayZ, it's a pretty hardcore survival game that dumps you in the middle of zombie infested post-apocalyptic Russia where every single other player is trying to brutally murder you. So basically it's just normal modern day Russia. You can try to make friends and some people might briefly be nice to you to lull you into a false sense of security but they'll betray you in the end. For some unknown reason, I still sometimes try to be nice to players so I guess I just have a thing for being emotionally abused and let down. So anyway, here I am. I just use randomly generated characters now and honestly nothing immerses me into this harsh world more than playing as Karen from Human Resources. Step one is to find a suitable place to loot. I spend 20 minutes doing this and all I achieve is picking up a beanie, locating a sledgehammer and then eating a perfectly ripened pear. Daisy has a little something for everyone. I continue looting and working my way towards my mate Stealtho Robbo, but then what happens next? will shock you. In fact, doctors want this video banned. Wait, I don't need to say clickbaity things because you're already watching. So yeah, I just encounter my first player of the day. <gasps> chill, 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 chill. Oh, chill. Shit. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. Sorry. Are, we, are we good? Are we good, man? Are we good? good. Hey, man, you friendly? You too? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm friendly, man. Do you, you swear you're good? Uh, I'll, put, I'll put this away, man. I'll put this away. How's it going, man? Hey man, what's up? How's it going? Did you just put a grenade down? What the f You put a grenade down, you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> the dodgy malacca whispered niceties into my ear and then dropped a live fragmentation grenade. Obviously, I'm not geared and this guy has automatic weapons, so I performed the tactical military strategy of sitting in a house with a shovel while I wait for backup to arrive. Encounters in this game aren't like normal games because you really do not want to die as it can take hours to get geared up. I know he's outside waiting for me, but finally the big girl moves in to finish me off. Against all odds, I somehow take him down. And can we just go to a live action replay of how smoothed and polished the PvP melee combat system is in this game? The For Honor developers should really be taking notes. Robbo then rocks up just in time to steal all my hard earned loot. He's like a father who abandoned his child and then only comes back because that child made something of themselves. So we now have plenty of guns and water. Honestly, killing a highly geared player is the best way to start off a session because we now obviously have high-end gear as well as excited erections. A couple of zombies heard the gunshots and tried to eat us out, but zombies aren't a real threat. Well, at least that's what we thought at this stage. We hydrate, which is amazing, but we decide to also keep a bottle of dirty water in our inventory so that if we die and get looted, the naive player who killed us will drink the water and eventually get sick and then die. Chemical warfare is hilarious. Anyway, the high doesn't last long as we have no food and Robbo starts starving to death. Of course, we can't find food anywhere, so we decide to start killing zombies. Again, I can't stress how fluid the melee combat is. I genuinely feel like I'm the one swinging that shovel. With Robbo almost dead, we're beginning to panic, but then I find a can of tuna, which knowing Russia is probably half dolphin meat. Actually, no. Knowing Russia, it's probably half performance enhancing drugs, but it does at least give us the sustenance we need to continue. Well, at least for now. We keep looting, and I even find a military cap from Joseph Stalin's Autumn Collection. We find more guns, better backpacks, but unfortunately barely any food, and I'm starting to get slightly peckish, which is annoying. I really need to eat something before I get grumpy. Also, Robbo is starving to death again, which is debatably worse. We luckily find one can of spaghetti to get us through the night, and so we prepare to make a campfire for warmth. Robbo proceeds to chop down a tree with said can of spaghetti, which is perhaps the most manly thing I've ever seen in my life. 
I like that we've taken on traditional gender stereotype roles too. The man performing the hard labour while the woman stands around looking pretty in a nice hat doing nothing. I'm kidding, that was most definitely a joke. I'm well aware that it takes a lot of effort and courage to pick out nice hats to wear. We find a gorgeous little cabin with these rustic decaying mahogany timber floorboards complemented with a softly tinted dried blood finish. The perfect place to spend the night. Robbo even had some chicken that he hunted earlier and starts cooking it on the fire for us to nestle up together and eat. Finally, we are starting to learn this difficult game. We are winning the PvP encounters, we are hunting animals for food, we are staying warm in the cold of night and just becoming competent survivors. It's so satisfying. I then proceed to die from disease because apparently we didn't cook the goddamn chicken properly. You see these symbols? In short, that means you're doing a really shit job of treating your body like a temple. So yeah, I instantly get depression and then respawn with nothing. It's night time and frankly I'm not feeling very positive. Get this though, I'm looting some military camps and I come across another player. Are you friendly? Are you friendly? I hit him, I killed him. It's hard to see because nighttime in this game is like darker than actual nighttime, but basically I gave him a chance to speak and he didn't say a word, so I knocked him unconscious. I then took all of his loot and finally put a bullet in his head to ensure he didn't try to revenge me later on, and also because executing prisoners is super cute. You can't really trust anyone, but you most definitely can't trust a no talkies player, they'll betray you the hardest. So yeah, I've got good gear and I meet back up with Robbo and it only took us about 45 minutes to run across most of the map. I just can't understand why I love this game so much, as most of it is just slowly jogging, yet I'm addicted. Anyway, finally I'm reunited with Robbo and the sun is coming up and it's truly an amazing feeling. As a Christmas tree. I need, I need you to kill these zombies, Jeff. I'm gonna die. I'm, my health is flashing red. I'm going to die. Oh, oh, oh. There was my little pony. This game, in a nutshell, is thinking everything is okay and then dying. I'm obviously not in the world's greatest position now either, as all the gunshots have attracted every zombie nearby, and I quickly learned that there is a lot of them. We also learn a valuable lesson that if you're being attacked by zombies, shooting at them can really escalate the situation. I'm low on blood, and my vision is going black and white. My mate's dead, I'm stuck on the roof of an apartment building, but silver lining, Robbo's body is nearby, and he has a lot of good loot. If I can get that loot, then him dying was actually a very profitable exercise for me. My condolences though, Robbo. I hope you enjoy eating your piece of fruit on the beach. Using some extremely fully sick parkour maneuvers, I managed to somehow escape the zombies. I also managed to loot Robbo's corpse, and now I am one geared epic gamer. If you're an experienced DayZ player, you're probably chuckling to yourself about how newbie we are, but honestly, just starting to get the hang of this game even a little bit is immensely satisfying. I proceed to travel far and wide to find Robbo again, sticking to the beaches so I can find food and hopefully a freshly spawned player to mess with. Finally though, we find each other. Oh, hey Jeff, look at this. Can you see my guy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, f you, man. You. Don't go for. <laughs> <laughs> really ruined the immersion when I start dancing. <laughs> I don't know how to. I don't know how to stop surrendering. We decide to venture inland to try and find some high tier loot. You can find night vision goggles and all sorts of top quality military equipment that would be hilarious to use. The rain starts pouring and we decide to seek shelter in this little Russian paradise. Raining again. This Wait, one. this isn't you in front of me. No, it's There's not. Someone right in front of me. Dude, just, just careful. I just shot. Right in front of us, see Jeff. So yeah, as you can see, my policy is to talk to the player, and then if they talk back friendly, I give them a cautious chance, but if they don't talk, then they're dead to me. 
Robbo's policy is to kill anyone immediately, no questions asked. I guess you can't blame him for having that mentality though. The rain starts absolutely belting down and we know we simply have to find a warm place so that we don't get cold and then sick and then die and then cry in real life. And then my girlfriend breaks up with me because I cry too much about dying in a video game. And so I develop a heroin addiction to cope with the loneliness and wind up getting stabbed in my car by a hooker because I couldn't afford the hand job she just gave me. Did I fall on the fire and get killed by the fire? No. Yes, Robbo just got killed by our own campfire, I have no words. If another player shoots you, then sure, you take that in your stride. Perhaps you get a fatal disease because you ate undercooked chicken and yeah, okay, kind of rough, but I guess salmonella poisoning does very occasionally kill people, but you briefly walk through a small campfire in soaking wet pants and you pass out and then die seconds later. I'm calling bullshit on that one, chief. Fortunately, Robbo spawned one town over, which is just so lucky. On my way to meet him, I come across yet another player. You friendly? You friendly? It's not me. You friendly? Are you friendly, mate? Don't make me frag grenade the house. Come out, I need you. I'm not gonna shoot you. I'm not gonna shoot you. I could have killed you by now, man. There's a fresh water on the ground for you, man. Fresh, fresh water, all right? Take my water, take my water. Take my water. When I listen to how I interact with other players, it immediately becomes apparent that I don't sound particularly friendly. I sound like I've just had six cups of coffee and have the itchiest trigger finger of all time. I'm also pointing my gun at this dude like I really need to work on my people skills. This is my friend, you're good. This is my friend, it's okay. Hey buddy, you talk. Oh, he's just a first spawn. We could have killed you, man. We're obviously friendly. Wow. Wow, Robbie. What do you have on him? I was trying to <laughs> hydrate the man. I had good intentions. No, I didn't. So yeah, plot twist. Stealtho Robbo is the toxic griefer. Anyway, happy new year, you sexy malakas, and thanks for watching. A massive shout out to my patrons for supporting the channel. Otherwise, until next time, and as always, stay classy.